Yvonne Jagede calls out ex-husband. Nigerian actress Yvonne Jagede has finally opened up about a crash marriage to Kunle Faole, popularly known as a bounce, while also referring to him as a deadbeat father. She made this known on the latest episode of Mercy Johnson's Okoje's cooking show, Mercy's Menu, where she called out a bounce, a bounce uh, out for neglecting their son Xavier since he was born. Yvonne Jagede stated that what led to the breakup of their marriage wasn't really worth it as they were best friends before they eventually tied the knot but that they were not just on the same page. She said if she had stayed back in the marriage just because of what people would say, she would have been unhappy. She added that right now, they are not on talking terms. As regards their son Xavier, Vaughn revealed that while she was pregnant, her bounce never bothered to be part of her pregnancy journey. She stated that he only came around to acknowledge their son when she threatened that she would remove his son name uh, from Xavier's remove his son name from Xavier's name if he doesn't show up before their son turns five. She said she had to insist that their son bears uh, as and his father's son name that's Jagere Fawole because she was the one who suffered so much cleared her accounts to even go to America to birth their child. Yvonne further stated that after Abounce's public acknowledgement in April 2019, he has not bothered about their son. She said and I quote, since that day he has never come to the house, he has never called, the son turned one, no call, no text message to say happy birthday, end quote. She further stated that the day she dreaded the most came when Xavier asked about his father. She then sent a message to her ex-husband older brother to inform him that Xavier was asking for his father and that he should help get him to please come around to see his son. She said the response she got after two days was not encouraging. She added and I quote, my father went for Father's Day to represent my son's father. It was quite painful. He doesn't want to be involved. I will raise my son by myself. Hmm. Quote. Okay, so uh, since the breakup, she hasn't really said much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time we're hearing about this. And it's just sad because, like you said for this previous story, people do not understand what happens because they're not the ones wearing the shoe mm -hmm. until they hear. And I feel like a bounce has been silent, so we also need to hear a side of the story. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, from what she has said, he hasn't been there for his son. How? And I and saw what? a picture of him with the child. So where and when did he take that picture? How many when, did you when he was see? just one. Just when he was one. still a baby. All right. How did he know? <laughs> he's four. Okay. I think, four, I, was one I, I think it was that 2019 time. Yeah, when he and he's four now. Hmm. All right. Um, so how people just wake up and decide to have children and then decide not to be there for the children, mm -hmm. I'll completely never understand. I know people that will say, don't worry, when the child grows up, they will ask for me. They will ask for you, yes, but the stories that they will hear about you while they're asking for you, like this. is this good? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because this is online, and this is online forever. Yeah. Whenever the boy grows up, and then people find out, oh, this is your dad, they say you that your father was never even around, and the child starts getting attacked for absolutely no reason. Um, if this is true, I'll say that she has actually done very well. I yes, mean, she's she been has. quiet for so long. Mm -hmm. But then, I think the only reason Not is to to decay the situation. <laughs> yes, King Oje. Oje's <laughs> But I think the only reason why this is coming up is because now her son has started to ask Asking, for the father. Yeah. Is the reason why she's even coming out to say this. Because, yes, it's painful. You have a child. Your child is asking for the father. You can't even... You have to reach the father's brother to tell the father to... I think it's absolutely messy and I... I Yes, so, put so your son's I, name in the boy's see, name. Yeah. And the day the father do any, I'll fling it. See, I, I, what? I feel like uh, at this point, she doesn't have to wait till he's older. At this stage now, he has been asking for his dad, and then it's taking them two days to respond. So the boy obviously is seeing things. It's Children like, learn, they see. It's it's like I know something that we don't know. So you should come out and say something, Abi. You say it's Yes, now. Or go for a <laughs> DNA test or something. And if it's that one, they should do it now. It's you before like, so, so if you have a problem, years. so that's what I'm saying. If you had a problem at some point in time, uh -huh. it's something that is easily solved. Oh, I want the DNA test. Fine. Unless she's now saying she was not maybe yeah. do, but yeah. he hasn't even asked to begin with. We don't he know. We don't know said, if he has. Yeah. He hasn't even said anything to begin yeah. with. Like mm -hmm. the way we're not seeing him is yeah. probably the way she's that's not seeing him. Shout, shout out to Mr. Johnson, by the way, for yeah. bringing out yeah. that out of her because it's just normal cooking show hmm. and it jumps into that so conversation. Segue and very how soon. Goes sweet after this kind. Of <laughs> it's it's sweet. After they tie this one, how would they chop? It's, they a, hard, the it's a hard. It's a hard pill to swallow. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs>